Welcome back to the channel, and if you noticed in um, the first episode that we, sorry, second episode that we did on Shattered Space, we had a bit of a disagreement, we came across a bit of a disagreement with two brothers, and we're going to see if we can resolve that today, a bit of a side mission, it should be good, let's do it! Stop the argument in J Jinan Plaza, what argument? This argument. It's morbid, disgusting! You should be hanging your head in shame. But instead, here you are, acting like a common fool. Borhal, calm down. Do not do this here. How shameful of you to have these outbursts. Oh my, what would... What? What do you want? Hi, how you doing? It's Stu4. <laughs> Seems your outburst has attracted some outside attention, brother. If it was an audience you wanted, who you have it now? Please accept my apologies. That's all right. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable. Oh, no. And I could not contain my anger. Are you married? What? Oh, yes. Go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. I can forgive stealing my money or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still oh, within. Oh, no. That is horrible. Yeah, I'm appalled. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. The outsider may somehow understand you, but I do not. I am tired of your shamelessness, and I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Mamila, and I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Danica shall be my second. What? Are you mad? Borhal, are... Are you sure? Oh, look what we there got ourselves into. so much death in the city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. I accept. I, in fact, look forward to it. You. You shall be my second. No, don't get me involved. Oh, that will pose a problem. You see, Borhol is a stickler for tradition. Apologies, dear brother, but it seems that your precious duel will have to wait, as I have no second to aid me. It is true that the duel cannot commence until Amila acquires a second. This delay may be significant, as Amila has no one willing to aid him, including you, I suppose. I assure you, you will be rewarded greatly if you do this, no matter the outcome, so I expect you will change your mind. I ask that you do so quickly. Oh, truly have no shame, Amila. No shame at all. I've got things to do, guys. Bye. 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 Well, look who is back. Change your mind? Then it is settled. Outside, okay, we're in. We'll work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. Okay. As for you, Amila. Enjoy these last few moments, for when we next meet, your shameful life ends. Okay, right you. <laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. Their family home is this way. It is not far. We can discuss the matters there. Okay, the family home's this way. Working with me. We're going Seconds, home. It is our duty to prepare for the duel. Okay, Danica. Our fairness. I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. But know that you are doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. You coming, Sarah? Come on. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassment, Borhal has reached the boiling point. Right, yo. But still, to challenge your brother to a duel. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful resolution before it's Great too late. Serpent keep you. So much for not speaking to the locals, eh? This is one of the houses we've got to go to anyway. Herald's Rest. Just the way you like? Do you want to eat it now? Uh, uh, my 
Where's he going? There he is. I've got to go with him. Can I get you anything? Ooh, look at this. This is fancy. Oh, if there's one thing shared by all cultures, it's a place to vent and drink. Was I supposed to go with the other nungers? I, I, I've no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, hang on. The great serpent said that I. Okay, sorry. You're waiting on me. Sorry, Danica. He went to the bar, so I followed him. What do we have to get done? They don't speak a lot. So, so much for not talking to the locals. I mean, yeah, um, that we're told not to speak to anybody uh, last episode, and yeah, that's all gone out the window, really. Uh, but we are one of the promised now, so I guess that excuses that. Yes, Danica. Need me for something? Uh, talk to Danica about the jewel. Are you ready ah, to discuss right. our roles? Yes. Okay, ready. Let's get Very started. Good. Let us begin. Okay, cool. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers mm -hmm. and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. Right, you As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? No, but what about uh, trying to resolve it first and then, um, yeah, not buying the weapons? For what I've heard, Amila is a drunkard, Amila. Hmm. I will note your concern, but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Okay, so I've got to go and talk Before to Amila. That, though, I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got pulled into this. Yeah, well, I wasn't doing anything. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem. Should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off? Right, you whole. Eh, uh, wait, Burrow has the right to choose the weapon. Does Emil have the right to choose the right to do anything? Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Burrow. Right, you all. And stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Right, you all. Uh... Okay, let's get going. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. No worries. We will discuss your secondary duty then. Uh, talk to Boros, talk to Buffed. Um Right, um... Come on, Sarah, we gotta go and play mediator. We left him in here, didn't we? Have we gone? Okay, where is he? It's over here Our somewhere. There he is. Really so great okay. That we deserved this. Huh? Look who it is. It's me. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. Possibly. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. Eh. Uh, you seem eager to die. Why are you so sure that I will die? I have been in plenty of scraps on the streets, and I am not so sure that lady behind him. Push over like my She's brother. a bit nosy. Eh, uh, all right, it seems you've made that. Uh, it's you, Fruno. He is trying to kill me. Why should I be the one to apologize? Oh my goodness. Borhal likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well. But what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. Uh, nothing good will come. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. Oh dear. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. It doesn't seem as though he's barking off. Okay, let's ask him a, a uh, fine. personal question. But do try to be brief. I would prefer to be alone so that I may enjoy what could very well be my final moments alive. Uh, what led to the divide? I do not know. Perhaps him challenging me to a duel has something to do with it. Uh...
terrified. Hmm. Correct. You are my second, not my acquaintance. Yeah, right here. I do not wish to speak of these things with you. Oh, come on. Is there? Perhaps you can convince me. Eh, uh, just talk to me a bit and then I'll leave you alone. I'm doing it for when you're second. At least you can do that one. You may be my second, but you are not my friend. Uh, the less you know about me, the better. Um, try that one. Then. You are very persistent. I am. Oh, you have me all figured out, do you? Enough, enough. You've broken me down. Go on, ask your questions again. Um... I had a wife once. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm not going to flatter myself and pretend that I was a good husband, but I loved her. And she loved me, appreciated me, faults and all. I, I never felt like I had to prove anything to her. Right. When I say to you that she was my world, my everything, mm -hmm. I am serious. She was, she was perfect. And somehow she loved something like me. It was like living in a dream. So what happened, Amila? Nearly a decade ago, she and I shared a perfect night. In what I had believed would be a lifetime of perfect nights. But when I kissed her cheek in the morning, my lips froze. She was cold. Uh-oh. Stone cold. After my beloved's death, I made one bad decision after another. To Borhal's credit, he was almost always there for me. He even paid for the funeral expenses. Okay, that's something to work with. But he could not stop me from taking to the bottle, no matter how hard he tried. Eventually, he gave up on me. <laughs> My own brother. His love and understanding has been replaced with scolding. I am truly alone. I don't think that's true, mate. If it were Borhal in my stead, I would forgive him, like a brother is supposed to do. Family is family. That's right. We are supposed to be there for each other, no matter what. I would never have deigned to challenge him to a duel. He cares more about respect, the family name, honor, everything, except for me. Oh, I got you, true. <sighs> yes, to a point. He would beg them to stop and volunteer to take some blows for me, but... One day, I could not take it anymore. I wanted to run to the guards, tell them how my parents would hit me, starve me. Borhal talked me out of it. He said that mother and father would find out, and the beatings would only get worse. I listened to him, and on and on it went. What else have we got? Thank you. But no amount of condolences will bring her back. It's true. Because I am furious! My own brother, I just... I cannot make sense of it! Who would challenge their own flesh and blood to a duel? Damn him! Oh, he's, Damn oh him she's back. me in this position! Damn him because I know even if I were to apologize, ending this duel before it starts, I will always see someone who would rather me dead when I look at his face. Right, you Okay. I do not know. Ask him. I loved my parents too. You I'm know. gonna ask him, mate. And what hurt most, more than any beating, was knowing they did not love me. Great serpent. I wish I got the chance to sell my mother's urn. Serves her right. 
Oh, that's not nice. Uh, do you really think you can kill your brother? As in, am I physically capable? Uh, perhaps, if the Great Serpent wills it. Am I mentally capable? I believe so. I have never felt this fury within me before. Mm, that's not good. Um, okay, that's it. It's your funeral. I have made my choice. If I am to die, so be it. But I am no coward. Well, that talk went well, didn't it? What do you think, Sarah? We're going to talk to the other brother now? Okay. He lives up here somewhere. Well, we left the door open. Oops, it's all right. Need to bang these guys' heads together, I think. Hi, how you doing? Need help with anything? Uh, what is it? I need to prepare. I will do no such thing. Yes, you will. And will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. Uh, should we ask the question, if you knew it would end like this, why didn't you intervene? Do you think Emilio's chance of beating you would it... What would it take you to there call off the duel? There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is inconceivable. Okay, I agree with you on that one, mate. It would be if Amila were Aha. a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. Yeah, no, 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 hang on, you're As twisting the rules, before. mate. An apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. Oh my god, families are complicated, ladies and gentle folk. Uh, okay. Do you think I wanted this to happen? Oh, hang on. I tried to stop this downward spiral countless times. It was like saving someone from drowning, only for them to leap back into the ocean. Amila refuses to be helped, and he is determined to take me and the family name down with him. No, you are not my son. <laughs> I do not see how it's worth a try to your duties. Again, I do not see how this is pertinent. You are just wasting our time. Come on, uh, I keep asking if I, if you need to, or I can be really annoying. That's and I can be very patient. <laughs> I have put up with Amila for my whole life, for instance. Uh -huh. If that is the case... What? That is not true. Why would she say that? That is enough. Oh dear. I will not answer any prying questions. Come on, please. I'm gonna try again. No. You are not my Good luck with everything. Oh well that didn't work. Anyway, we failed. What is it? I will do no such thing. <sighs> But instead, damn him. Yeah, we know all that. Um, uh. Right. I take no pleasure in this. But after today, what he did, he needs to be dealt with. Fair enough. If that is all, you may take your leave. Okay. Right. Return to Danica. 
Oh dear, it's becoming a bit of a pain in that, you know, warrior. Couldn't talk them out of it, let's just let them kill each other. There she is. Hang on. How did you do that? We walked out here, you weren't here. How did you fare? Not good. Hmm. While disappointing, I am not surprised. Those brothers are stubborn as groats. That's right. But you may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelists will imbibe prior to the duel. Right. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. <laughs> no. and Mila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. This duel is idiotic. We both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis. Well done, Danica. There is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. How are you so sure that this won't backfire? I know that it will not. You have to trust I'm over me. here, hello? I know that this way is the only way. <laughs> Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the Great Serpent aid us. Uh, prepare the ceremonial drink. We get the ceremonial drinks to prepare. Um, I don't know where they are. Um, hang on a second. Got it. Okay, so ceremonial drinks are over here somewhere. Right, yo. Here we go. Uh, tranquil ice bolt. Go. Done. Report to Danica. Cool. Is everything ready? Give me the strength to do what must be done. Then it is time to begin the duel. Yes, finally. I am ready to do what must be done. The time has come. Amila, are you sufficiently prepared? I am ready. It is time. <sighs> Nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best. Ooh, cool, there's gonna be a fight. May the great serpent have mercy on your soul. What do you think? What do you think, Sarah? Who's going to win? Where's Danica gone? There she is. Uh, what? What is this? What have you done to me, Amila? I am affected as well, dear brother. I, I did not do this. I can hardly see you in front of me. Uh, what the hell is this? What did you do? What is this? Uh, sabotage? This duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together, not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me, and then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? 
Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. Right here, we seem to have fixed that. Danica, where are you? Danica, don't walk away. Danica, I gotta talk to you. Stop. Wait, she was walking out and now she's not. What the heck? What are you, Danica? Hello? Until she stopped walking. Because I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. Okay, you ready to talk to me now? Hello, I'm over here. Thank the Great Serpent. Thank you, you did it. The tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. What? From the tranquilizer? They will sleep a few days and be fine. I expect. Well, I'm not coming back. They may suffer a bit, but it is a far better alternative to being stabbed to death. Nonsense. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down they are both relieved. Come what may, we have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. Cool. If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that day will come. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always. Oh, Danica is a good friend, isn't she? And she gave me lots of credits, which is nice. Okay, so we've got houses to look at. So we'll do that... Uh, next episode, I guess. Thanks for watching. See ya!